entrepreneurship. So if you want to, if, uh, if you're thinking about which one to attend, you know, feel free to switch rooms if you want to. But over here, we're going to talk about Google Chrome OS. Does anybody here not speak Arabic? Okay, so I'm going to talk about Arabic. I'm going to talk about Arabic, but I'm going to talk about English, so I'm going to talk about Okay. فأنا اسمي باسل نافوري أنا مهندس برمجة بجوجل بفرع ماونتن فيو اللي هو بكاليفورنيا اللي هو الفرع الرئيسي لجوجل أنا بشتغل على اللي بنسميه عربي إنجينيرينج اللي هو نعمل برودكتس للوطن العربي بشكل عام نحاول نحسن برودكتس لجوجل بالوطن العربي بس أنا يعني إنه إهتي معامات كتير بكروم أوس فقلت حاليا يعني إنه I give a presentation about it فا who here knows about Chrome OS? Okay, good number of you. Who doesn't know about it? Okay, so the minority. Okay, um, so I'm gonna how uh, القدر الإمكان إنه go through the slides. بشكل uh, it's, the slides are a little basic. For the people who know it will um, will get a refresher. والناس اللي ما بيعرفوها هاي إن شاء الله يعني إنه تعلموا شغلة جديدة. وبعدين ال حاشا ورجيكم دمو. وبعدين بآخر session نعمل نعمل Q and A. حتى إذا عندكم أسئلة معينة مثلاً على technicalities تبع Chrome OS. فيني جاوب عليكم. فأول شيء بدي أبدأ عن كروم نفسها. أم... آه سوري. صرنا هلا تقريبا سنتين لما بدينا ما طلعنا كروم أم... طلعت بديسمبر 11 ألف 2008 فتقريبا صرنا يومين وثلاث أيام سهرين عفوا سنتين وثلاث أيام. أم... ولحد الآن عندنا 120 مليون مستخدم. هلا هذا هذا عدد ال 120 هذول عدد الناس عم يستخدموا كروم باستمرار يعني طوال النهار يعني ما عم يستخدموا اي نوع من ال من المتصفحين الثانيين يعني انه مستخدمين اساسيين في ما في ناس ثانيين مثلا ممكن يستخدموا متصفحين اخرين احتمال الرقم يكون اعلى بكثير فهذا رقم كونزرفيتيف هذا رقم يعني انه ما كثير انه انه بيكون اكبر من هيك بس عدد المستخدمين الاساسيين لكروم هو 120 مليون مستخدم لحد الان من شهر واحد لحد الآن 300% الزيادة بعدد المستخدمين ففي تقريبا النمو للعدد المستخدمين عم يزداد بازدياد السبب الأساسي اللي هو عم يلاقي الناس عم يستخدموا كروم هو أنه الكروم سريع كتير بتصفح للإنترنت هو واحدة من الأشياء الأساسية اللي حنحاولنا نعملها لما بدينا بكروم أن نعمل الكروم يكون سريع حتى يتصفح للإنترنت احنا بنيناه على اساس اللي هو المحرك تبع V8 اللي هو جافا سكريبت يعني انه انجن فهو كان هذا المحرك سريع لما بدينا فيه واحنا اخذناه وطورناه ومن سنتين تقريبا كان ثمان مرات اسرع من اي محرك من اي متصفح ثاني ولما فيعني انه انت في كلمه يعني ثمان مرات يعني انه اي متصفح اخر موجود على بوقتها احنا طورناه بثمان مرات اكثر وهلا المتصفح اللي طلعناه من كروم جديد خمس مرات اسرع من اللي طلعناه من سنتين. فطبعا انت يو كود دو ذا ماث يعني 5 تايمز 8 از 40 يعني. و ذات مينز ذات 40 تايمز فاستر توداي ذان ات واز 2 ييرز اجو. ايوه شو البروجرام اللي جافا سكريبت اللي هو وي بيسك ات اون؟ هاو كروم واز Okay. Um, I'll answer your questions, but it's better to you know, go through the slides quicker. Or then at the end, hada. I think it's uh, th is basically built using C, يعني. C or C plus plus. So it's open source, so you can use it, utilize it anytime. Um, so if you imagine, for example, if a page from a month can take 40 seconds, now it takes one second. So that's a huge improvement in a month. And we're trying to improve Chrome so that it can be faster in the future. الشغلة الثانية اللي احنا حاولنا نعملها مع كروم هو يكون انه سمبل. في كذا فيشر جدناها بكروم، واحدة من الأشياء اللي كانت جديدة هي الشغلة اللي بسموها أومني بوكس. اللي هي أنت بتطلع مثلا على الكروم أو على بل 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 على الأدرس بار، فيك تستعمله كسيرش بار بنفس الوقت. فبالتالي أنه أنت بدل ما أنت مثلا بدل ما تروح على تو ديفرنت بارز، يو كان جست بيسكلي سيرش إنه إن ذا إكزاكت سيم بار يعني. We also احنا حاولنا قدر الامكان انه نخلي الكروم نفسها يكون سهل كثير يعني ما يكون في مثلا يعني انه تو ماتش اد اونز تو ماتش هذا فاي وونت تو ميك ات سمبل از بوسيبل حتى يكون معظم معظم الويندو مخصصه لانك تشوف البراوزر نفسها وفي اذر فيتشرز لايك اوتوماتيك ابديت اللي هو مثلا انه البراوزر لحاله بيعمل ابديت طبعا في هلا الشغله الجديده عملناها هي اوتوماتيك سينك 
اللي هي بمعنى انه ايش انه مثلا عندك السيتنجز وعندك الثيمز اللي انت بتعمل اعملها على الكروم على اي محل على اي متصفح اخر موجود على على البي سي تبعك على الماك تبعك او على كروم او اس فيك تحولهم يعني انه تستخدم نفس الثيمز ونفس السيتنجز ونفس الابلكيشنز ونفس البوك ماركس يكونوا موجودين على جميع انحاء الكروم مهما كانت مهما كان وين ما كان موجود فهي ذا نيو فيتشر وي جاست ادد يعني وطبعا هلا الكروم ويب ستور وي جاست لونشد وي توك اباوت ات شو ديمو اباوت ات ف جاست ستي تون ام وطالت شغله احنا حمال نعملها بكروم هي اللي هي السكيورتي فاحنا حاولنا قدر الامكان نكون انه كروم يو نو اسهل ما يمكن من التعامل معه من ناحيه سكيورتي لانه هو معظم الويب براوزرز هلا از ذا واي تو اتاك The uh, the computers, a lot of malwares. يعني إنه واحد بيعمل له download عن طريق ال عن طريق المتصفح. فحنا حنا قدر الإمكان إنه نخ نكون very concerned about security. ف automated uh, uh, update is one of the ways we ensure that security is there. لأنه لما يكون عندك uh, uh, vulnerability بال بالمتصفح الناس بتقدر إنها تحاول ت ت exploit this vulnerability للناس اللي ما عندهم uh, uh, ما عندهم update تبع ال patchات. فلما يكون عندك automatic updates بيخلي ال uh, ال browser موجود uh, حتى إنه ال ال patch عليه فبالتالي ما the people can attack that like vulnerability. وطبعا we have something called sandboxing اللي هو كل تاب بالبراوزر له its own process فبالتالي two two tabs don't interfere with each other وبعدين بعدين بنفس الوقت عفوا different threads بالضبط وبعدين ال ال each one doesn't interfere with the with the system itself فهلا كمان we also wanted to see a few trends that we saw in the in the in the industry يعني سمحنا مثل ما شفت اليوم HTML5 The demos, uh, you know, it's very powerful. A lot of things are being added to HTML5. Um, we wanted to, the web applications are becoming very, very powerful. They're becoming as strong as desktop applications. So you have access to the GPU. You have access to video playback. You can have, as I said, threads. You can also have access to local storage to be able to cache things. If we wanted to be able to uh, utilize HTML5 also in, 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 in Chrome, we built, be able to allow users to build strong applications using HTML5. وطبعا الشغل الثاني هو الكلاود كومبيوتينج يعني انه مثل ما حكى مثل ما بالكينو تحكوا اليوم انه there's a lot of web applications that are being developed for the web يعني انه most of the uh, last five years معظم الابلكيشنز صاروا web applications there are not a lot of desktop applications that you can think of فبالتالي انه هذا هو الترند اللي احنا شايفينه انه معظم الاشياء اللي عم تتطور عم تتطور على الانترنت ما عم تتطور على جهاز جهاز البي سي يعني فهذا يعني انه is another trend that we saw we wanted to also capitalize on فبالتالي احنا قلنا لحالنا اوكي اذا كل الناس عم تستخدم الكلاود كمبيوتر عم تستخدم جهاز اجهزتها معظم الوقت لتصفحوا الانترنت ليش ما نحن نعمل اوبريتنج سيستم انه انه يكون سريع لتصفح الانترنت وهذا اللي عملناه احنا هذا وي ديسايد تو دو كروم جوجل كروم او اس فاحنا وي ديسايد تو دو ا اوبريتنج سيستم اللي هو اوبتمايز فور ذا ويب احنا وي توك ا لينكس كيرنل ام يو نو جست يو جست يور نورمال لينكس كيرنل We took out a lot of the stuff that you don't need. يعني مثلاً مثل demons. We took out مثلاً a lot of drivers that you don't use. A lot of the stuff that you don't will not be able to do. But then we basically put Chrome on top of it. والآن هلا مع صار عندك اللي هو ال 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 شو اسمه ال OS كله بس عبارة عن Chrome. على so you can basically just utilize it to browse the internet very fast. فلا إن you know no Chrome is fast, but when you have Chrome على Chrome OS إحنا بنعرف ال ال operating system بنعرف شو بالضبط صاير بال operating system بيخلي ال ال تصفح على الإنترنت أسرع وأسرع. ف أنا I wanted to طبعا هو it's a it's an open source project. مثل ما هو Chrome is open source, we decided to make Chrome OS as a as a open source. حتى إنه الناس تقدر تعمل له download, تعمل له يعني update في الناس مثلا إنه to contribute code. I want to show you a little video on Chrome OS. Hopefully, this is something entertaining. We'll see kind of features about Chrome OS. Give me a second. in Chrome Notebook. Recently, a friend of mine asked me to create a flyer for her because she lost her cat. So I'm going to do that right now, real quick. I'm going to go to Google Docs and create a new document. I'm 
just start with a few basic details. This is going quite well, but as you all know, bad stuff might happen to your laptop. The advantage of a Chrome notebook is that everything takes place on the web. All your documents, photos, and settings are stored safely online no matter what. So even if you lose your computer, you can easily get back on your feet. in the flyer. So you get the idea. <laughs> it's obviously going to happen more and more and more and, you know. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so like, also, uh, some of you have already seen this, so. Um, but, Stan, you know, you, you get the idea. It's basically the fact that, you know, Chrome OS is, um, is, one second, sorry. The idea is basically, you know, um, we wanted to do Chrome OS that is optimized for the web. So three things that we tried to do is basically concentrate on speed, simplicity, and security. But we did it with Chrome itself. We tried to improve the way to improve Chrome OS on the same basis so that the experience of the user is very good. So from the point of speed, we tried to first to make Chrome OS fast to set up. It means that one person who does a set up, the first time you get to the computer, it will be in 60 seconds and you will be on the internet and start to move. How many people have set up PCs before? And how long does it take? It takes ages, of course. So we wanted to make sure this is as easy as possible, as quick as possible. How many people have booted computers before? How long does it take? What's the average? Two, sorry? 20, 30 seconds, that's probably when it's like fresh, barely fresh. But as soon as you basically like start using more and more stuff, it gets even slower and slower. What we try to do with the Chrome OS is make it, make it as less than 10 seconds to boot. And then we try to make it as to boot. And then we try to make it as to boot. 10 seconds, so that it will be the booting speed. And of course, as I said, what's the name? First, for example, Chrome is fast. And Chrome on Chrome OS, of course, it will be faster because we know the operating system. And finally, it's fast to recover. So when you go to standby mode, you usually take you at least three, four seconds before you're back. And we wanted to do it in less than a second. So that the bottleneck is not the computer itself, but the user who wants to type things on. Yes. But I'll ask you a question about this. About this demo. And the other thing we wanted to concentrate on was simplicity. How we can make it easier for the user to use Chrome OS. So even though it's just Chrome, it's something you're all used to. It's like the internet. So all you have to do is basically utilize the internet itself. That's all you have to do. The other thing is that it's a stateless machine. What does it mean a stateless machine? Like we showed you in the video, if I took the device and it broke, or it broke, or it broke something, المعلومات مو محفوظة على الكمبيوتر بل هي محفوظة على الكلاود على الانترنت يعني فلما تشتري جهاز جديد فيك تفتحه وتعمل له على تعمل عليه لوجن وكل معلومات اللي كانت موجودة عندك كل الساتينس كل الثيمز كل الدوكيمنتس كل الأبس تبعك موجودين على الانترنت فبالتالي instantaneously you get them on your new computer فيعني it doesn't matter what computer you're using يعني it always will be there وطبعا we also wanted to have the same thing you know it automatically updates 
Okay. You know how many people also have tried to update their computers, for example, patches, or upgrade from one version to another? It's always a painful experience. But we wanted to make sure that Chrome OS, it's very easy to use. It doesn't require you to update them at all. It will do it automatically for you. Well, طبعا بما انه هي it's just a Chrome or it's just a Chrome uh, like Chrome it's just Chrome that's the only thing ما في عليها برامج اخرى فبالتالي it doesn't get rusty انا واحده من المشاكل الاساسيه بالبي سيز هلا انه the more install programs the, the slower your machine becomes لانه لو عندك مثلا things are running you know sometimes you have malware and you know sometimes you have uh, you know applications that you know are taking processing speed but you don't need them بس بما انه هي it's just Chrome there's no other processes when you, when, you, when you boot it the first time, it's just Chrome. When you boot it 20, the 20,000th time, it's just still Chrome. But there's no rust. It's just exactly the same. And of course, as I said earlier, you know, the syncing ability, you know, you have uh, you know, your, your themes, your settings. If you, have, if you log in from two different machines, you always have the settings, even, even if, you, if you're logging at the same time. Well, I'll show you one demo right now. Um, last thing is, is the sharing a capability. Just one quick question. Sure. Uh, I'll show you that. Finally, it's about security. Uh, one of the things about modern PCs is that you have to worry about security yourself. Do I trust this application? Well, do, I, do I think this application will harm me? So you always have to worry about that. Leish, um, sorry about that. Um, the application that you're working on, has the same privileges for you. If you have permission to go wipe C slash Windows, so does the application you run. In, in the web model, is that all applications are hostile. We, we don't want them to access any of the system unless we want them to. فبالتالي احنا we, we, we basically sandbox them حطهم uh, in, in its own sandbox we separate them from each other حتى بحيث انه ما يقدروا to attack each other or attack the system underneath it so that's a very powerful concept that is basically makes web the um, you know uh, web like the chrome os uh, very secure um, there's other stuff that we also added to Chrome OS. Uh, one of the here, we, every time we ship the operating system, we do a little signing. We mean, um, I'll go to the next slide, I'll show what I mean. Each segment of the code will have its own uh, uh, signature. We make sure, uh, well, before we run it, that the code has the same signature as the one that came from Google. And if it does, we run it. If it isn't, we detect that there's some malware, or there's some up, there's some mistake in the in the in the code. We tell them, okay, shield the code, have to stop booting, go to the web, download the most up-to-date version, put the place this, and boot again. And the malware will not affect your computer. So that's kind of one of the things that the verified boot, which is a very powerful concept, uh, allows you to do. Other security features we added here. Uh, other security features that we added to a command and no, everything on the hard disk, even though it's stateless, مثلاً if you have caching, is encrypted. فبالتالي إذا مثلاً ضاع الكمبيوتر منك واحد تاني أخذ الهارد ديسك وحاول إنه يقرأ المعلومات اللي عليه ما حيقدر يقرأ المعلومات اللي عليه. وطبعاً ال ال boot system نفسه هو is read only. فبالتالي إنه مثلاً you can't really access the system, you can't run on it, you can't like do anything. It's only re it's uh, it's read only, so nobody can access it. Well, طبعاً, all the data is synced on the cloud, but you basically don't have to worry about your data being lost or any of that. فالآن, I wanted to show you uh, uh, Google uh, Web Store, Google Chrome Web Store, um, as a demo. So are you guys ready? I don't hear it. Are you guys ready? <laughs> all right. So Web Store. Who, who knows Web Store? OK, a few of you. So who can tell me what Web Store is? Yes. <laughs> Full of apps. What does it do? Uh, it's uh, like a web apps uh, store for uh, the Chrome uh, games and uh, EA is there. Okay. Yeah. Very close, very close. Uh, who, who can tell me? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Chrome uses, very close still, yes. But I think you 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 got it right. Yes. So basically, uh, and it's all of you. All of you guys got it. Got it kind of right. Uh, so um, what we'll give them mugs for all three of them. I don't know if there's anybody here. Um, so basically, the the idea of uh, web store and you know, these web applications are online. 
موجودة على they're all over the internet يعني إنه الناس ما فيك تتعرف عليها فمثلا إذا عم دور على مثلا I don't know مثلا a chess game I don't I don't find it يعني I have to search on the internet but then I لازم أشوف مثلا إنه is this chess game a good one is this مثلا something that is might be malware أو مثلا هل هي مثلا is it a fun one to have بينما if I have Chrome Web Store it allows you to connect the user with the developer فبالتالي if I you know search for something I don't know news um, for basically, I get a lot of like Google Reader. I got like a lot of stuff, and it gives me like ratings. In you know, this is a five-star rating. it has you know, uh, it has four-star rating. Finas mazani biatuha comments aleha. But it allows you as a user to decide which uh, application you want to install. وانت اف اف انت مبرمج بيحل لك بيساعدك كمان انك to be able to connect with the user حتى تلاقي مثلا يكون you have more advertising for your application فمثلا let's see um, let's see what's a what's an interesting web application oh, yeah the applications are all web applications so you can think of these as as very intelligent web marks uh, bookmarks uh, for basically, uh, this is kind of like, a, uh, these are like, uh, at least the Chrome Web Store is a very intelligent uh, links, yani. Uh, it basically allows you to be able to connect to, uh, the, uh, like, you know, to, to the website from here, yani. It kind of, it's a, like, it's a very smart one. No, 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 these are like, basically, so if, let's, let's look at, like, um, you know, yesterday was TweetDeck, for example, was the example that we used, so if I click on this, uh, actually, TweetDeck is not a good example. But um, let's look at, for example, New York Times, right? So you see here the link that takes me to, it's New York Times slash Chrome. For Vitaly, it's basically like, you know, it's a, it's a very, it's, if you think about it, as it's a very intelligent linking system, very intelligent bookmarking system. But that's the way we want to think about it. Uh, to build from application, can you build it using what? I'll, I'll answer all your questions uh, to, uh, like towards the end. So if you want, you also can talk to me afterwards. Um, so basically, like for example, if I wanted to install TweetDeck, all I have to do is basically click on it, click install, and then basically the application is installed on my on my machine. So you can see right now, it added TweetDeck to my to my machine. I can click on it. I can start you know start using it as if it was any other web application. But uh, the re the reason that web applications are very powerful, and here they they work on everything. They work on your PC, they work on your Mac, they work on your Chrome OS, they work on Safari, they work on Chrome, they work on uh, Internet Explorer, they work on every single thing. web application you can make sure that it works for all those platforms. For that's it's a very powerful concept that you don't get with traditional desktop applications because then you have to make sure that it works for this may have to make sure that it works for you know this application, but then you have to port it to make sure it works for Mac, it works for PC. For that makes it a lot more powerful. Um, for now, I want to switch back to uh, to my lovely Chrome OS. Can you guys hear me? Well, I should, I should get the mic. Yeah. Okay. Can we switch monitors? Yeah. So unfortunately, the Ethernet is a little okay. That's better. Shukran. The Ethernet takes a while to connect. It's uh, something to do. Something to do with the. Uh, Gigabit Ethernet. Um, but as you can see, um, I don't know if you remember my other screen. I should have showed it to you. Uh, it has the same theme as my original my Chrome from the other from the other uh, um, machine. Yani. Well, once it's connect, it will automatically get TweetDeck and add it to my um, to my. Uh, it takes a while. Uh, to my uh, app uh, app basically here. Um, so as you can see, the web, the Chrome OS, is just on Chrome. That's all you see. It's just like nothing but Chrome. If you have, for example, features that we call pin tabs, they are based on tabs that are always there, no matter what, 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 uh, you can easily add a new tab, basically. Uh, here, we got internet, and we, as you can see, the tweet deck has already been installed. It's already been set. So, um, you know, that's a, that's a, you know, you don't have to worry about basically having all these apps, your favorite apps, uh, installed on, on different uh, machines. Um, for, for these tabs basically allow you to, for them to always be there. Uh, so you can always access them very quickly. 
طبعاً مثلاً you have some these things called panels. They are very small uh, widgets that are available on every single tab. حتى مثلاً if you want to switch tabs, you want to talk to somebody while you're working, you you can do that very easily. Um, you know, there's the, uh, there's very rich uh, HTML5 applications. And this is a game called Entanglement uh, that is, uh, you know, it's, a, it's usually utilizing a lot of the, you know, GPU. You can start playing it, and you know, you can you can uh, you can interact with it very easily. But it's a, something that is very, uh, you know, very powerful. They're very powerful web applications. What else did I want to show you? Um, uh, you can also definitely install Web Store. Uh, you can basically download stuff from here. You can play around with it uh, as well. Um, okay, so uh, before I move on to the offline mode, I wanted to show you guys the sharing mode. So now let's say you, you, have, your, um, you, know, you have your machine. So you want, to, you want to share it with your wife, with your family member, with somebody that you, uh, that you, you, want, you trust, you want to give them the ability to use your application. But you can basically, like Hamzawi, for example, my boss, is using the same application. I'm sorry, you can't see the picture. Um, my picture is horrible. So, um, but you can easily like you know get a new application, a new um, sign in. You just basically log in using your own account, your, any other account you have, or your spouse's account, or anything like that. You sign in. Take another horrible picture of yourself with a mic, <laughs> and you're all set. You're 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 already on Chrome. You can start playing with it. You can install your own apps. You can say do whatever you want with it. But it's very basically very easy for you to be able to share computers. Very easy for you to be able to utilize computers. Uh, you know, in the way that they're meant to be. It's, it's very easy to do. If you want to share it, you want to somebody create an account, you can always click enter a guest account. And all it is is basically an incognito window that's a very private account that nobody else will be able to use. So now I wanted to show you the offline mode. So, you know, you're using Chrome. I'm using Chrome. I'm using online. But sometimes you're using it, um, you know, you wanna, you're not online. You want it to be able to actually utilize it offline. So we added like a lot of uh, we we are trying taking leverage over the HTML5 application HTML5 offline application. So I'm gonna disconnect the Ethernet. Um, for, uh, for when, once you basically like for example, if I try to go go to Google.com, you can see it's offline. But if I wanted to kind of go back to that game I was playing earlier, it says it's offline. If I say load anyways, I can still continue playing the game. I can do whatever I want. I can you know, go to Google Docs, uh, start writing a uh, you know, presentation, with an old document. But then as I, when I go back online, the application will always be there. The, it will sync automatically for you. And you're able to you know, share it, do whatever you want with it. So um, that's all I had for the, for the demo part. Um, I'll let finish out as many questions as you guys want. We have about like 10 or 15 minutes to do that. So we'll start with you. When you log in, the credentials are from the Google website, isn't it? Right. Is it local? No, it's a Google. It's basically you log in right now with your Gmail or your, uh, uh, your Gmail account, basically. If you're offline, how can you log into that? Uh, well, the first time you log in, you have to log in, you have to be connected. But so after, you, uh, after, after that, you can log in without having to connect, to be connected online. Because you're offline, you can go into the account. Yes, yes, yes. Right there, yeah. You want to give it to the Ashraf? Yeah. I'll just raise my voice. Are there going to be any regional servers that hold uh, all the user data? Or is it going to be centralized in one location? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is there going to be a policy, perhaps, where we do have regional? Because you know, you're, you're, there's going to be an expo explosion of users. so. If they're all funneling through to one particular server location. Right. I mean, the well, the only thing that's happening right now in terms of connecting to uh, to, for example, let's say Google, is basically the ability to um, uh, is basically just the kind of the authentication. A lot of basically like setting and stuff. Mo, do you had something you wanted to say? Yeah, in general, the data storage doesn't happen in one server. Data storage in Google doesn't happen in one server because of this exact situation that you're saying. I mean, we replicate the data, we duplicate it across many servers across the world so that we serve you in this region faster than we serve yeah. uh, one in the States and so on and so forth. So um, 
there is no worry about this point. And you know, obviously, like having you know a lot of uh, you know, it's not it's not we always monitor our our start usage and basically make sure that it's always working. My follow-on question has to do specifically with this regional sort of regional uh, data protection or access to the uh, certain countries don't allow you to utilize certain applications or access certain sites. If this sort of set of user information is stored in a particular place, how does that affect Google's arrangement with these countries not to display a particular piece of information? I mean, it's just, I mean, you think about it, it's just basically a, a, a web browser, right? It, it's not different from utilizing basically something, you know, that you have your own, your, on your own machine, right? So it's exactly the same thing. So it's not really very different from the two. Can we give Mo a mug? I want to give Mo a mug because they answered the question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you should share. You can give me some whenever you get a chance. By the way, Mo was with me on the team, so he, he, you know, he li he's more senior than me, so that's why he's asking some of those questions. But and if I may add to the uh, to to uh, to your question, um, one thing that Google, um, I mean, is very um, careful about is that, or like one of the, our strategies is. is when we operate in a country, we abide by the laws in this country. So this is like, let's make this clear. So if there is anything that would like violate the laws in one country, we will not, we will not do it. Yeah. However, as Bessel said, it's at the end, this Chrome OS thing, it's web-based. So what's available for you in the web will be available, I mean, like, it will be available for you, I mean, like, in, from, the, from the machine. Yes. Um. Question about the user security, privacy. What is what is the guarantee that this data on my account is not shared or used uh, or uh, spied on or something? Okay. So we we are taking you know for Google we take privacy very seriously. We make sure because for us it's like you know the users we put the user first. So if it's very important for us to be able to make sure that the user is satisfied. If the user, like, you know, if we lose the trust of the user, we're losing our basically biggest assets, which is our users. And so we want to make sure that privacy is very, uh, very, um, you know, we make sure that privacy is very important. And even, like, you know, uh, also the other thing you have to remember is you don't have to use anything Google related, right? So this is just a cloud, cloud basically, application. Uh, my data is stored many countries in Europe, so many US can, agencies can. Give your orders, like uh, country order or something like that, and to disclose this information. So, in this, there is uh, agreement that you will not give this information to other, uh, even the government. So as I said earlier, we, we take privacy of the users very seriously. It's really important for us to be able to make sure that your, your data is private, from, that nobody else is able to access it, no, no matter what, what entity it is. Like, even, like, we even have, like, we just published the uh, uh, government uh, requests, all the government takedowns. All that information is available on the web. So if you wanted to look at that information, you'd be able to do that. And obviously, we, we, we really tried as much as possible to make sure that the privacy of the user is, is uh, preserved. Um, yes. Uh, Could you use the mic? Sorry. Hello. Yeah. Uh, the boot manager used by the Chrome OS. Mm -hmm. What is it? Is it like Grub? Because it's based on Linux or? It's like based on Linux. So that that's kind of what the Chrome OS. We basically start off with a Linux kernel. Okay. So we, do you, the boot manager? I'm asking about. It's uh, every, well. It's a grub. It's what? Grub. Grub or Lilo or what? I have no idea, but the code is there. You can always look at it. Okay. Can you, <laughs> can you restart your computer? Sorry? Can you re restart your computer so that I can uh, see? It, it, I mean, it doesn't show. It's just basically, I can show it to you if you want. I'm asking uh, this. By the way, this is not the actual hardware that we are actually using, so it's a little slower than, mm -hmm. than, the, uh, than the actual Chrome OS. But here we go. I mean, you can look at it. And, I'll, and uh, you know, while you're looking at it and getting a lot of information, I'll answer other questions. Go ahead. I'm going to get to use the mic, sorry. Can we use the Chrome OS for enterprise solutions? Sorry? Can we use the Chrome OS for enterprise solutions? Yes, I mean, obviously you can basically, if you, ha you have anything, on, you have your information on the cloud, you can basically access anything. You can basically buy the computer, uh, which will be launched, by the way, middle of next year, middle of 2011. And install like Oracle enterprise applications and all of these uh, 
heavy uh, load. If they have, if they have a cloud presence, if they are basically, you can access them over through the web. You can use Chrome OS to be able to access them. Thank you, um, gentlemen in the back. Uh, should it have a dedicated hardware for it, or can it run on different hardware platforms? Very good question. Um, so the the as I said, the the code is right now um, open source. So you basically can take it, download it, put it on, on hardware like this. So for example, this is a test machine that's basically not the actual hardware that you're using. Now, having said that, we are actually trying to. Uh, ensure that the speed of the machine is really good. So we have very specific uh, specifications, sorry for redundancy, that we make sure that the, that the uh, web browsing experience is very fast. One of the examples is we use solid state drives instead of hard disks to, be, to ensure that the, uh, the web applications run as fast as possible. We have like certain memory requirements, certain GPU requirements, certain CPU requirements. All of that uh, would be able to uh, make the browsing experience fast. And Acer and Samsung, middle of next year, are basically are going to implement those specifications, and we'll have the Chrome OS notebook on it. And I'm 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 happy with English, so I can add Yes. Uh, the question was, can you add a Chrome extension to the to Chrome OS? So there's a, we have Chrome extensions, right? Uh, Chrome extensions are basically uh, you know add-ons to, to to Chrome that you can already uh, implement and install on Chrome, and so those extensions also work on Chrome OS. You basically any extension. any extension, yeah. Basically, if you can implement an extension on Chrome, you can implement an extension on Chrome OS. Uh, yes. Uh, what do you mean VMware? Are you saying basically? Are you, I mean, uh, VMware basically, you know, uh, yeah, you you can try. <laughs> I mean, like, but, but like the the intended usage is basically like for it to be running on its own machine. But saying you know, there's no, nothing like stopping you from taking it and running it on whatever hardware that you want or virtual hardware you want. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, if it's a virtual machine, a virtual machine is basically a blank machine that you can run anything you want on it. Um, yes. Yes. So it's basically as if I mean afterwards, if you want, you guys want to log into to the Chrome. I'll be on the demo pods, so you can basically, if you want, you can log into it using your yeah, Gmail my account. My second question: How can I share my files with my friends or? Whatever? Uh, it's very easy. Basically, there's documents that has a, has a feature to be able to share in the files. Same machine. Sorry. In the same machine. Is can can I share my files in the same machine? Uh, you basically, it's, it'll, it'll be on the cloud. So your file, since your file's on the cloud, it's very easy, as easy as entering their email address, and yeah. they'll be able to see it on the cloud. Yeah. Um, let's see, who, has, who hasn't asked a question yet? The gentleman in the back. I want to get people who hasn't, haven't asked a question, and then I'll get back. Oh, OK. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll get you back to you in a second. Uh, Muhammad, do you know this? It's basically an I know is about HTML and JavaScript, right? Yeah, HTML and JavaScript. That's the language that you use. So, I don't know if there are things that you can do Chrome extensions, but you can use any development environment on it. Yeah, JavaScript, but he's asking if there's anything. No, but it's HTML and JavaScript. Okay. تصميم أرنف ما بع يعني أي HTML not sure بس قال لك بتعرف في واحد اسمه ديفيد ريني هو هو عطل برزنتيشن بارح على كروم إكستنشنز هو بيقول لك بالضبط كيف تسويها okay لأنك كتبت لك جاوب سؤالك خلينا جاوب أكمل لك سؤالك okay surprisingly I just sorry wow Surprisingly, yes. So CR48, the hardware that we have, we can use a dual boot on um, it. Obviously, you can do whatever you want to do with it. But you know, you know, once you do that, basically, we can't guarantee security. Like, for example, other operating system can come in and change all the code, do a lot of stuff. لا لا بعرف عليك بس يعني إنه لأنه other operating system عليه على في يعمل access على hard disk فاحنا ما we can't guarantee security عليه فاهم علي كيف؟ okay um anybody else an answer for okay go ahead oh a lady on the back yeah just a Gmail account and and hopeful uh, yes 
we don't want to work on online and we have the cloud. Mm -hmm. What is the benefit of having the cloud operating system? Okay, let me ask you a question. How do you use the internet? <تصفيق> فبيسكلي احنا الايديا انه هلا بالبدايه احنا ذيس كروم او اس نت بوكس انه تستعمليها ككمبانيون نوت بوك فانت لما بدك تستعمل الانترنت يوز ذا اذا بدك تعمل شيء اوف لاين اول شيء في الاوف لاين كابيلتيز بتورجيك الجيمز ودوكيومنتس وهي شغلات يو كان يوتيلايز ذا كروم نوت بوك بس كمان اذا مثلا انت فيون يوز فوتوشوب مثلا فيك تستعمل يور اون هاردوير تو بي ابل اللي هو البي سي العادي تبعك حتى تقدر تستعمليه بس احنا بالنسبه لنا عم نشوف انه كل الاشياء اللي عم تصير على الانترنت احنا عم انا فيل ان 10 ييرز You know, it's it will be unusual for you to have to not have uh, internet access all the time. For Bitali, no, you know, Bitali, for you know, everything is on the web. For Bitali, that will be kind of the normal mode of operation. For that's why Chrome OS will be kind of the more prevalent thing in the future. Yes. Is the hibernation mode available in Chrome OS? A hibernation? Uh, I mean, it's uh, when it's standby mode. It basically, can uh, my, the exact specs. I think it's seven. I end up like standby mode. Hibernation, standby mode. I understand. I understand. I mean, I mean, let me. I'm gonna just like tell you statistic, and then it'll basically be able to tell me. So standby mode. He will basically just saving it in memory. You can utilize the battery for seven days. So you don't need hibernation when you have basically a standby mode that will last you for seven days. Uh, for that's the current specification for it. But then if, you, if you're using it regularly, um, it'll, the battery will last you for eight days. Why, why is that? The reason is you know, when you're actually using the Chrome OS notebook, a lot of the stuff is not, are not there. It's very lean and uh, a lean machine. A lot of the stuff that is draining the battery are not, are not there anymore. It makes it really, really uh, long in terms of battery life. Um, gentlemen, I'll get, uh, I'll get back to you. That gentleman, we have a lot of time. That gentleman, yes. في اوريدي حدا حكى عن البرايفسي بس اي ثينك ذات ذات ماتر ذات ذات سبجكت ذات از فيري اندر استيميتد يعني بس سي ذات اجين سوري از فيري اندر استيميتد اوكي انا شخصيا كثير مهتم بالبرايفسي واي ثينك انه معظم الناس ذات جود ذات فيري جود اي ابلود ذات فاكشولي اي مين بيرسونالي دونت بليف ذات جوجل از فيري انتريستد ان برايفسي للناس يعني اوكي خلينا نحكيها بصراحه وخاصه انت لما بتحكي انه في اوبريتنج سيستم كامل مبني على الكلاود وش ما احنا وي هاف نو كنترول اوفر ذا كلاود يعني بصراحه يعني فمثلا لو انا بدي اشطب مثلا ملفات الي او تريسنج لإلي اشي عملت انا يعني شو انا بدي اعرف شو اذا انتم بتوفروا شيء كنترول وحتى لو وفرته يعني باعتقادي الشخصي يعني مش راح يكون كفايه لانه او اخيرا يعني شيء ما شيء مش فيزيكال عندك فيو دونت هاف ا توتال كنترول اون ات اوكي فانتم بالضبط ايش يعني راح يكون البوليسي لجوجل بهذا الخصوص okay. انه انتم تشجعوا الناس انه انه اوكي انه ما في مشكلات كبيره من ناحيه البرايفسي وبالتالي ممكن الناس انه يستخدموا هذا الاوبريتنج سيستم اوكي يعني حتى لو كان اوبن سورس اي جيت ذا كويشن اي مين لايك اي سو اي ثينك دو يو ونت تو هير ماي انسر دو يو ونت جست لا لا في بس نقطه ثانيه okay. يعني لانه يمكن يكون في لوبس على موضوع الاوبن سورس حتى لو كان الكود اوبن سورس بس اني واي ماي بيرسونال داتا ار ستورد سم وير ايلس اوكي اي مين ذير از نو اي مين ذير از نو يعني دايركت بينيفيت انه يكون اوبن سورس اوكي um uh shisma awal and as i said earlier you your data you can you don't have to put your data it's a it's a web browser you still have to put the data with google it's something that you have to you can if you have your own uh cloud uh that you have it on the on basically anywhere else any any uh, operation on the cloud you can utilize that the other thing is you have to think about is just you know it's uh, you know obviously as i said earlier you know we take the privacy very seriously Um, yeah, I'm not going to repeat the same point. But the third thing you want to talk, think about is how to think about in the 1994. When the internet Everybody was also very concerned about, about the privacy because you know, they're, they're sending stuff over the internet. But I mean, you send all your documents, you send everything over the, cloud, over the internet anyways. You're sending the stuff over the cloud. But basically, you are still like, you know, you're, you're trusting your stuff over the cloud all the time. But in 94, everybody was worried about, yes, you know, the, you know this, is very, this is invasion of my privacy, this is that. But you know, it took a while for people to actually uh, trust the internet and use the internet. And most, uh, most actually machine, most uh, 
companies have had, uh, you didn't want to use the internet at the beginning. But the since 2000, we utilize, see how powerful it is, the internet, how, how much you can utilize it. And you, you know, you, we started, people started you know, using internet more and more and more. But the Tali had basically the most, the, the, uh, the operation. Well, now that's the same thing. And the paradigm is to move towards the cloud. Uh, and utilize the cloud more. And basically, that's the, some, the thing that's going to be of the future. And you don't have to, as I said, you don't have to put your stuff on the cloud. You can put it anywhere you want. If you don't want to share something on the cloud, you don't have to share it. But what I'm saying is that for, for you, if you want to put stuff on the cloud, utilize the cloud, this machine is available for you. Uh, that gentleman in the back. So, um, to, for viewing things, I didn't know. So if you develop HTML5 applications, it will render beautifully on a Chrome OS. What about Java? What about .NET? Uh, so basically, the, 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 the concept for Chrome OS is that it's a web application. So the question was, what languages do, can you use? It's a web application. So that's kind of what we wanted to do, is that we make it really optimized for web, web, web viewing. And you know, so most applications right now are becoming web applications. And so that's why you know, it's very powerful to be able to utilize those, those web, web applications. I'm asking this question because I want to ask about uh, keeping the code as secret. If you are using HTML and JavaScript, you can't keep it as a secret. OK. But if you are using EXE, at least you can keep it uh, as a secret code, okay. not to, for editing and not for uh, making people see what I'm exactly doing in this application. Well, I mean, if you wanna, if you're developing an application, most of the stuff can happen on the server, right? You can have your server, servers basically running your code. Basically, the the thing that you're displaying is the UI, basically, which is you know, which is basically the basic HTML and JavaScript. You don't have to actually like develop everything in HTML and JavaScript. You can just basically just the UI layer. Talk to me afterwards. I'll, we can talk about it a lot more. Uh, yes, that gentleman. Can we pass the mic up? Sorry. This will probably be the last question. And then I'll be outside so you guys can ask me whatever questions you have. Hi. Uh, very nice. We're loving the Chrome OS so far. But uh, what about the other stuff that you're supposed to do with the PC? I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about advanced stuff. I'm just talking about printing. We, we heard about cloud printing. We'd like to know from you more about this. And sometimes you need your computer to configure other stuff in your house, some drivers, uh, that connect your scanner, connect, you know, the, there's many things that you could do with your PC. Right. Move some files, if I, if I want to contact my camera. Right. Some camera, like Sony, you need some special softwares for them. Right, right. What's, what's in the cooking for, uh, for this? Okay, so, um, um, uh, first of all, as you alluded to it, printing is we're trying to we start beginning to do cloud printing. So basically, your your um, your printer will be basically on the network. You'll be able to, you know, if you're basically uh, in your office uh, or like you know you're on the road and you basically want to print something at home, you can basically simply go to the cloud, print it, and when you get home, you'll be able to you know get the print out immediately. But you know that's kind of the way the way it's going to be in the future. Where basically like you know all the print like your printers will be uh, like you know on the cloud and be able to kind of access them securely and be able to print on, on those printers. Um, the second question was the scanner. Uh, so, I mean, right, right. So, um, scanners, I'm not sure exactly what the, what, the, what, what the current plans are, but I imagine it'll also be something like cloud scanning, where basically you can be able to uh, attach a scanner and, you know, into the cloud and be able to kind of access it and it'll be, it'll upload it to the cloud. Um, uh, and then, like you know, basically, like in terms of camera, um, right now we have a capability. If you plug in a USB card, or if you plug in a camera that you know that recognizes it as a storage device, you can access the files on there. Basically, you can we have a we have a media player like a you know music player and um, um, uh, what's the word uh, like you know f like picture viewer, PDF viewer. So you can basically look at stuff from within your computer. So you don't have to basically do like you know you can easily access USB drivers. I'm sorry, I'm. I'm I ran out of time, but I'll be at the demo, uh, demo pod just outside to answer all your questions. So thank you, uh, thank you very much for attending, and uh, hopefully we'll see you, see you guys soon. Oh, and next, Mohammed is going to give a wonderful talk about uh, uh, web, uh, what's the exact talk? Uh, Web-based web language services. So a lot of stuff about Arabic and like translation, transliteration, that uh, Mo is your man. Thank you.